Hey everybody, welcome to Paleo Greenbird. I'm Greenbird, and today I have a package from Rex Tex. Nice little mailbox find, and I thought I would open it along with you guys. There's a little bit of a, a rip there, I don't know. Hopefully nothing fell out, but we'll find out. So let's just go ahead and... Run this along the sides. Trying to keep, just like filleting a fish, I'm just trying to keep this as close to the top as I can. I don't want to damage anything. Pretty excited to see what's in here. Rex has already sent me a couple of things. And they're always cool. Rex, I need to get a package back out to you. I think it's your turn. Goodness. Heat treating guide. I'm guessing that this is exactly what it says. And it's going to give me some instruction as to how to heat treat something that's in here. Probably this stuff. Oh, this looks cool. Oh, this looks very familiar. <coughs> looks a lot like stuff that I have here. Uh, it's probably not the same. It also looks like... some stuff that I have here. Which is some unheated Texas chert. I wonder if this is the same. Or similar. Definitely need to heat that though. Not gonna work that without some heat. This, on the other hand, I'm not sure what this is, but that feels like that might be able to be worked raw. Yeah, I don't have one handy, but this looks like it could be worked raw. I'll try it, or I'll heat it. Who knows? Yeah. And this stuff here, these are definitely Texas tabs. Wow, this looks really cool. I've never seen anything like this, though. Here's another piece of that dark stuff. It's pretty glassy feeling, but it's it's kind of it's hard to explain. But I don't know. Once you work some stone, you can tell what needs to be heated and what doesn't. And this this could go either way. I may try and work a little bit of this raw, but I can tell it will benefit from heat, which is probably why Mr. Rex Tex sent me those heating instructions. This right here. I bet I could work this raw. I can tell by feeling it. Maybe, maybe not. I'll probably still heat it. Thank you, sir. That was awesome. Just want to make sure there's nothing in here. I don't think there is, but okay. Oh, another piece. This is beautiful. And Rex, tell me if this will change color when I heat it. Now I have an excuse to buy a turkey roaster. Wow, and this stuff is really glassy. I might not even need to heat this. I might try and work this raw, if you don't mind. Yeah, that's pretty glassy. I like that. I think this... <laughs> this is all packaging. Let's see what we have here. The really cool stuff is always in the extra box that's in the box. Everybody knows that.
Oh, this is lots of stuff in here too. Let's just dump it all out. <coughs> <laughs> Look at this. Oh my goodness. Rex, this is beautiful. Check that out. It's a nice... I think this is glass. I assume it's glass. Nice glass blade. Look how thin that is. Nice deer tine handle. Wow, this is fantastic. Look how good it fits in your hand too. This is just amazing. This is so awesome. Thank you so much, Rex. This is going in my keeper case for sure. Uh, it just fits really good. Add some awesome craftsmanship. You did a fantastic job on that. Really cool. Super cool. There's something in a bag here, too. I'm not sure what this is. What does it say? Fossil shark tooth. Oh, look at... Oh, this is really cool. I almost got some of these a while back, but I just didn't pull the trigger. 66 million... There we go. Fossil shark teeth. 66 plus million years old. Phoenix City, Alabama. Found on... Um, I don't know how to pronounce that. Uchi Creek, or Uchi Creek, sorry if I'm pronouncing it bad. I'm a Yankee, I don't know how to pronounce those things. But look at that. All those shark teeth. Those are really, really cool. And I'm going to do a lot of stuff with those. Probably just look at them, but I'll put them in some jewelry too. Super cool. Wow, that's awesome. Rex, you outdid yourself. Man. I gotta find some cool shit to send you. Oops, sorry. Here we go. Now my channel's not family friendly anymore. What's in here? So this says miscellaneous points and green bird. <laughs> and green bird for green bird. I, I think I know what's going on here. some wire. I know you said you were going to send me some wire to try and wrap some of my points with. So that's super cool. Now we have some points. This is the great stuff right here. Oh, look at that. Another glass point. Look how thin that is. Look how great. How, such great craftsmanship. Cool notches. I love the base notch. Huge fan of that. This looks like, um, well, it looks like Kia Cook, but I don't think it is. It doesn't feel like it. I'm guessing this is some sort of a, like a local Jasper or something like that. Look how thin that is. That's really cool. And this is quite clearly obsidian. Yeah, that's obsidian. Or super, super high quality dacite, one or the other. That's some pretty cool stuff. Nice points, nice work, Rex. You do some great work. I can't tell what this is. It looks like glass, but I think it's something different. It has like an opalescent sheen to it, so I'm not sure. I don't know if that's quartz. Rex, tell me what that is. But, regardless, it's another fine point. 
This is mahogany obsidian. Actually, it looks like it might be a little bit of triflow in there, too. Now that I look at it. Another super thin point. Man, you make some super thin points. Here's another mahogany obsidian birdie. Hopefully the camera's picking this up. There we go. Let's show a couple of those other ones again too. And last but not least, <laughs> I found the green bird for the green bird. Check this out, an effigy. This is my first effigy that somebody has made for me. This is, I cannot tell you, you know, how important this is to me. This is fantastic. Thank you so much, Rex. Look at that, it's a green bird. It's green glass. That is, um, that is super cool. I am going to find something amazing to do with that. I don't know what yet, but until I do, it's going to stay in my stash. So, what an amazing, kind gesture. So, Rex, I really appreciate this, and this is fantastic. I can't wait to break into some of this stone. You know, hopefully I have the patience to cook it, but I may just crack into it and see what I can do in the meantime. I guess let's take a quick peek here and see what the cooking instructions are, since there seems to be pretty in-depth. Okay. okay, this is a little bit more in-depth. I'm not going to read this because it's 15 pages long, but I'll, I'll read it later and uh, try and heat it. But that's great. Thank you so much. I'm going to put all this stuff in my collection. Don't really know how else to end this, but uh, thanks, Rex. I really appreciate it. And um, Yeah, I'll try and get a box your way too, brother, so we have each other's stuff because that's what it's all about. It's a tight community. So, until next time, Kelly Greenberg signing out.